All right, we're getting ready to tackle some red stains. I'll show you this one real good. And we're going to just use a regular basic El Cheapo iron. He's spraying straight ammonia down on it. Okay, now we want to plug in the iron and heat it up. Uh, stand it up first. Oh, Yeah, there's a big wet spot on the carpet there from the iron leak. That's alright. This, this, this one leaks whenever you have it laying flat. Yeah, you know, <coughs> rag ready. This is how we take them out generally with this method. It's Just get you an old rag, white rag that you don't care about. They're going to heat up in a few seconds. Yeah, it's hot. It's going to town right now as we speak. So. I don't know if it's fully heated, but it will. And we'll do this until we... Sometimes you can't get them out, so we'll see what happens. We anticipate getting it out. Move over here. Right? And like we said before, right. you don't want to leave that on there in no two or three minutes. <coughs> you can see there's lots of little red stains. We're just going after the ones that are really noticeable because you, we'd have to charge a fortune to get every single little red stain. Let's see if it's even started. Oh. So there's some transfer. I saw red. So we're on the way. Alright. I think our camera lens just got steamed. We'll move back over here. Okay, some of the red's gone. Let's move back. I just don't want to get the, anything splattered on the lens if I can help it. Right on. Okay. And sometimes you can get most of it out and not all of it. You never know. You have to just try it and see. Yeah, you can see the iron's doing its thing. It's pretty warm. It's trying hard. We got some good steam, that's a fact. <clears throat> the biggest thing is make sure your iron doesn't fall over on you. That's a little lighter. That's getting there. Let me spray some more Maybe one more time. At a certain point, if you start noticing your carpet getting like a Bleach. bleached out look, stop because that's as good as you're going to get it. Unless you want a big white spot instead of a red spot. Now he's, what he does is he throws that into a bucket and lets it soak. There's some water in there and that kind of gets the red. When you get done, all the red stuff's basically out of your rag most of the time. So. You know, good with this is a good way to clean a dirty rag. Yeah, we used to not use this method because we didn't want to ruin all of our rags, but we figured out if we soak them and throw them in a bucket of water in between uses while we're doing the job, they don't get they don't end up with all that yellow well, stuff in them and everything. The thing to this method too is you've got to be careful so you don't put an iron print in the carpet in. Yeah. You won't if you keep an eye on it, but if you walk off to someone Phones or knocks on the door and you walk away, you could have a serious accident. And we're showing you this one in real in real time so you get an idea of how much time it takes to get out of the average red stain. Some of them are a lot worse though. It's close. That's pretty good right there. This no no bleaching. I'm gonna do one more. Shot of rag. While he's putting that down, he's just going to put that down, wring out the rag, put it on there. I'll show you. We got a, a good little red stain in the closet. We got a blue stain over there against the wall. And I'll walk it in here. We have a third bedroom, but there's no red stains in it, so that's good. There's a real light pinkish one right here. So I don't think we'll really mess with that. We're going to get to try to get this bright red one out. And there's a bluer. A uh, blue green one. There's another blue green one. There's a little red right there. And in this closet. Right here at the threshold. And then right in there is a little red. Yeah, and there's some more greenish stuff. We're going to hit most of these a little bit, but when they get real old, there's one against the wall. When they get real old a lot of times, you're not going to get them 100% out without ruining the carpet, so you have to know when to stop. Well, let's take one last look. If you do see. this at home and then you extract afterwards, there's always a chance. That you'll get it out and then the extractor will make it wick back up the following day. Because you'll get the carpet wet and possibly wick some more up from the pad. Yeah, if for some reason the red isn't completely set. Then the next moved. day you have to do it again, but yeah. you'll have a lot of it out today. Alright, that's good enough on that. 
That's real good. And if it's yeah. if it needs any more, we'll do it another day. So the big thing is don't leave your iron unattended because it'll something will happen. It'll flip over on you or something you won't know. That's pretty close to ruin that's, carpet. That's pretty nice. I'm so All sorry. right. On to the next room. Okay, we finished the pre back with the DC 25. I don't know what he did with the front doctor. Let's see where is. Okay, he's got that in here, and so. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a video extracting these carpets. You might want to look for that on the channel because this red stain video I think will just leave up by itself. All right, <clears throat> red stain out, a little red stain basically out. There was another little stain over there out. The ones in the closet came out. There was a red stain in here, and it's gone. There was a bluish stain. I think it was over there. Yeah, and it's out. They're all out. Yeah. He's working on. There was a, a red stain on the baseboard there that he's working on. And there's some other stains. I think he sprayed them with ammonia, maybe. I don't know. But just to let you see that it is actually working. I'm not going to video a lot of this, but let's see how that's looking. It's coming. Alright. It's still there. Some of these, some of the older stains, if they're real old, you're not going to get them out. But. This has been in here for years. And, yeah. they, and they've never paid us to get the stains up before, so we never have, but it's been here for like at least four years. Alright, well anyway, that's where we're at on that. So I just want to let you see that it does actually work. So anyway. Oh, one thing to any of you do-it-yourselfers, uh, if you've not done this, you've not done it before, when you're close to a baseboard, be careful. You could melt the paint. I mean, you could theoretically melt the paint off the baseboard, so watch out. Keep an eye on it. Watch the baseboard. Alright. So, that's basically it, showing you the red stains. They're coming out.